Hi there. Now it's very common to be asked to find an equation for a tangent and normal to an ellipse at a point say P which is given in parametric coordinates x is a cos theta and y is b sine theta. And what I would encourage you to do is to be able to do this from first principles rather than remembering the formula. The method, as usual, is just to find the gradient of the tangent by differentiating the curve. And you can do this in two ways. You can either do it by implicit differentiation, or you could take x to be a cos theta and y to be b sine theta, and then find dx by d theta and dy by d theta, and then use the chain rule to find dy by dx. I personally think that for this type of question, Differentiating via the chain rule is a quicker method. But what I'll do is do both methods for you so you can compare them. In fact, what I'd encourage you to do is to pause the video and try and find the equation of the tangent and normal. And you can come back and check your answer against mine. Anyway, first of all then, let's do it by implicit differentiation. If we're going to do that, then I'd want to just say that we're going to differentiate the curve with respect to x. And so differentiating the first term here, we're just going to get 2x over a squared. And then for the second term, it's going to be 2y over b squared times dy by dx. And that's going to equal 0. And I could divide through by 2 here and then rearrange it for dy by dx. If you do that, you should find dy by dx equals minus x times b squared all over y times a squared. And we can find the gradient of the tangent at this point just by substituting our x and y coordinates in. So we just border that off there. So if you are finding the gradient of the tangent by this method, then we'll just put an intro up here. Gradient of tangent at p. Then substituting for x in here as a cos theta and y as b sine theta, you should find you get minus a b squared cosine theta all divided by a squared b sine theta. And we can cancel this down by dividing through by a and b and that just gives us minus b cosine theta all divided by a sine theta. So that's our gradient to a tangent. You could do that though by differentiating x with respect to theta and y with respect to theta and doing the chain rule. So I'll do that for you and you can compare the methods. This is the one that I think is the better of the two though. We know that dy by dx is going to be the same as dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. Alright? So this is going to be for dy by d theta, differentiating b sine theta with respect to theta. That's going to give b cosine theta, and that's divided by dx by d theta, which is going to be minus a sine theta. And cleaning this up, well, there's not much to clean up. Just take the negative out the front, and you've got b cosine theta all divided by a sine theta. And you can see that compares nicely to this. So I think fewer steps in this one anyway. OK, so once we've got our gradient of the tangent at P, then all we've got to do is get that equation. So just put an intro again. We've got the equation of the tangent at P. And using y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. That equation is going to be y minus y1, which is b sine theta, equals the gradient, which is minus b cosine theta, divided by a sine theta. And then it's all multiplied by x minus x1. And x1 is 
a cos theta. So that's our general equation for the tangent. And you could clean this up further just by multiplying through by a sine theta. And uh, I'd certainly encourage you to have a go at that. It cleans up quite nicely. But there we go. I'll leave that up to you. That's basically our equation of our tangent at P. When it comes to the normal, we've just got to get that gradient of the normal. And just put that there, gradient of normal at P. If we use the perpendicular rule, we just got to negate our gradient here and turn it upside down. OK, so we've got A sine theta over B cos theta. And again, just substitute that into the equation of straight line. So just have an intro here. Equation of normal at P. OK, is, and again, it's going to be y minus y1, so it's y minus b sine theta equals the gradient, which is a sine theta divided by b cos theta, and that's multiplied by x minus x1, which is a cosine theta. So I hope that's given you an idea about how we can go about finding the equation of a tangent and a normal then when the point P is given in parametric form. In my next video, what I want to do is do a similar example where we've got to find the equation just for a tangent to an ellipse, but this time the point P is not in parametric form. So I'd encourage you to have a look at that one because, again, that's a very common type of question.